NASA is getting ready for its second attempt to launch the Orion spacecraft to the moon. The highly anticipated unmanned mission will go around the moon and back, setting the stage for future manned missions to outer space. NASA officials postponed Monday's launch because of a problem with the third engine. So far, tomorrow's launch is go for liftoff. So I want to bring in astrophysicist Hakeem Olushei. He's also a professor at George Mason University. It's great to see you. Hakeem, if Artemis goes as planned tomorrow, what will happen as Orion leaves Earth? What does the flight path look like? Yeah, so what's going to happen is when Artemis launches, it's going to first go into orbit around the Earth, and eventually it's going to have to do what's known as an orbital transfer. You don't just go directly there. You basically go to a higher orbit, and you want to make sure that when you're at the maximum height of that orbit, you're at the moon at that point. So Artemis is going to orbit the Earth, then it's going to fire the engine and slingshot its way up to the moon, and gravity from Earth is going to slow it down the entire way and then it's going to turn around and come right back. But during the entire trip, it's going to take data so that two trips later, we're going to be able to keep our astronauts safe. And uh, my producer just got my ear and was like, it's Orion, um, so sorry about that. And I just said that to an astrophysicist. It's Friday, forgive me. Uh, I, think, I must have been thinking about Omarion or something uh, when I said that. Uh, so Artemis, I came... Yeah, Artemis 1 is an unmanned test flight ahead of the future manned missions to the moon and beyond. Yes. What will NASA engineers be watching for tomorrow, and how will it help them when it comes to launches with astronauts on board? Well, remember, this is the biggest and most powerful rocket that we've ever launched, and it's pretty complex. That means that the danger level is right up there. And so you have a new launch vehicle, you have a new crew capsule, and what we want to understand is how is it going to behave in every step of the trip? The launch is, is one issue. Orbital in, uh, injection is another issue, getting to the moon, facing the radiation environment, and then re-entry into Earth's atmosphere is no joke, right? That's a very dangerous time. So they're going to get data on all of these. There's mannequins inside the capsule in, that are going to take data about the radiation environment, about the shocks and stresses on the body. So it's all about making sure Everything works to specification, and our astronauts are able to go to the moon and return home safely. Okay, so let's say all goes as planned, which is what we pray yeah. for, and we successfully, successfully put an outpost on the moon. What will it be like for humans there? Oh, well, well, the first thing is you have to make sure that you're shielded from the radiation. The environment on the moon without the protection of Earth's atmosphere or Earth's magnetic field is going to be high radiation. And you're going to switch between, uh, depending upon where you are, you're going to be in sunlight sometimes, and that's going to be very high temperatures. Then you're going to be in the cold of space at other times. So it's not going to be like being here on Earth, but sign me up. It's an adventure, and I'd love to go. And remember, gravity on the moon is one-sixth as strong as it is on Earth. So being in that environment for a long time may have certain health conditions that we're unaware of now. We know what astronauts in low Earth orbit go through, and there's a lot of research on that. There's loss of bone density, fluids move up to your head. You know, so we're not designed for that environment, but we're going to learn more that allows us to go from the moon ultimately to Mars. On to Mars. Uh, we'll save that That's discussion right. for another time. Um, and first, I need to check and see if Omarion wants to be an astronaut uh, on the Orion <laughs> spacecraft. Uh, <laughs> Akeem, it's great to see you, sir. Thank you again. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Take care. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.